Time for a blog. I've just responded to a contact on LinkedIn. Perhaps my niche is really a motivational trainer. I'm responding to a person who, forgive me if you're going to watch this, may be a victim of persecution, prejudice, any other sort of situation, or just a person experiencing real life as we all do. At this time, perhaps some of us are experiencing our own lives in a more challenging or in a different challenging way. And if you're unemployed and you're seeking employment in these difficult times, is it really more difficult? In my circles, there are many people who are actually flourishing because they're doing online business. Yet there are lots of other things that this world needs. And I have surrounded myself with many people virtually. I'm actually alone in this room here. Yet I have entered into a realm of motivational trainers, coaches, people into character development, who all encourage developing your own self-image and your self-confidence in order to really find where you're meant to be. Now, I've actually retired. I could call myself an expert. What kind of expert? That's, that's still an open question for me. Yet when I reflect on my last position as the data assistant in the Division of Nuclear Security at the International Atomic Energy Agency, that was my dream job. Before that, I was often unemployed and I had a few other good jobs that I enjoyed. So how can I tell you that your dream job is waiting for you? I've begun subscribing to a philosophy, to an idea which really resonates with me and I'd like to share that resonance, that attitude that I have adopted because I have found it extremely supportive, uplifting. I just watched part of a very long video from, what's his name, Lewis. He was interviewing Joe Dispenza. And they're talking about, they get into lots of esoteric stuff. And I think of one of my sons who's not interested in hearing anything about character education or esoteric, esoteric, esoteric stuff. <laughs> What's the word? What's the noun there? Esoteric stuff, esotericism. Anyhow, yet this is, an area that I delved into over 40 years ago and there was only a small group of people who were into that sort of thing at that time. I have to focus. I'm, I'm going, I'm already tempted by the next tangent. I'm going to have to write this down. The tangent thing. Oops, and I've already lost it. Whoa, whoa. So, pause, pause. Stop, stop, stop. Stop my breath. And I really wonder, do I have to cut off every deviating thought or 
can't I just be myself? No, because I speak too fast and you may not understand me. Yet I consider myself an English trainer and a motivational speaker, a virtual assistant. And if I'm just myself, I would tend to speak very quickly and you may not understand me. So I started off, I wanted to tell you that it's good to keep a positive attitude and an attitude of gratitude really helps to raise up your own energy, your vibration, your frequency so that you will also attract the things that you want when you have a more positive attitude. This concept espoused in the book and film The Secret, I have been exposed to quite concentratedly over the last 12 months since I've been doing the Thinking Into Results course with Bob Proctor and Vivian Posch here in Vienna in Austria. And yet it's a theory, a concept, an attitude that many people have and have had for a long time. When I first heard the theory of attraction, I thought, no, 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 that's not true. It's opposites attract. Negative and positive is what comes together to create a whole. This theory of attraction is a little bit different. It's the theory of vibration stating that your thoughts, your emotions, your feelings, your being, you yourself, vibrate at a certain frequency and I don't know how they measure that but they say that anything under 200 is negative and gratitude starts at 200 and then there are higher levels up to love which is up about 700 and the more selfless and pure your attitude, your outlook then the higher the vibrations and the highest vibrations are the saints and the, the wonderful people in the world. So it's an interesting theory. Perhaps I'll give a talk about that one day. Actually, my idea is to focus on giving talks on interdependence, mutual prosperity and universally shared values. So basically, I'm just practicing my crying out in the wilderness to keep positive, be motivated, don't give up, don't let people say you're not good enough because of your long hair or your age or your gender or your lack of experience or the long break that you took or where you come from or what your religion is or anything. Be confident about who you are, what you've got to offer. And just like me now, looking for my niche, which I think is motivation, have confidence that everything that you have, that you've experienced, that you are, everywhere you've been, are all a part of the puzzle, making up your biography, which is preparing you for your future, for all that you can do to make this world a better place. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs>